prophetic word for today comes from Joel chapter 2. If you have your Bibles, let's take our Bibles out. And uh, we are going to look at the verse number 2. I want to really commend all the leadership team members who are working over time when there are so many people that are on vacation and traveling. You know, I really thank God for every one of you, and I really mean what I'm saying. Give a hand to the, the leadership team of the Blessing Church. Joel chapter 2 and verse 19 says, The Lord will answer and say to his people, Behold, I will send you grain and new wine and oil, and you will be satisfied by them. I will no longer make you a reproach among the nations. The word nations mean people not the country. Nations means people. Now God is saying he will answer. You know, God hears us even before we talk to him. That's what the Bible says. He knows exactly what we will ask him. And after knowing that, when we pray, what happens? God hears. And then he says he will answer. Say, the Lord will answer. Lord will answer. Yes. And before he ans before we see the manifestation, God will put us in a path. What he really is doing is seeing if we are going to be faithful in that little. God will always evaluate your loyalty and your faithfulness in the little he has given you. And this is the prophetic word for you. You have been waiting for a long time for someone to be saved in your family. Or you are praying for that prodigal son or a daughter to come home. Or you are praying for your visa. Or you are praying for your next job. You have applied to many jobs and you didn't even get an interview. And somebody said, I even went to an interview, but in the final round I was not selected. And a disappointment comes with that. But God is saying today, it's a new month, not only a new month, a new season where God is saying that he will send you grain, new wine, say new wine, new wine. and oil. These are all provisions. These are all things that we need, this earth. And he says that he will satisfy us. Oh, I love that. There are so many people in this world, they have so much, but still, they are not satisfied. But God is saying, because we are his people, God says that you will be satisfied. Say, I will be satisfied. Come on. I will be satisfied. He will answer in such a way that we will be satisfied. And he says that I will no longer make you a reproach among the people the friends, the neighbors, the co-workers, the relatives, you will no longer be that reproach. Say amen to that. Amen. That is the prophetic word. 